Led Zeppelin. That's Led Zeppelin, right? Led Zeppelin is one of the most popular, influential, critically acclaimed bands of the 70s. Led Zeppelin is hard rock, which for this video at least, I would define as heavy as rock can get without it becoming metal. So right on that edge, you know, Led Zeppelin, Deep Purple, um, and then, you know, all the hard rock, cock rock bands of the 80s, Bon Jovi, Guns N' Roses, Poison, what else is there, Def Leppard, just, ugh, all those crazy bands from the 80s. But Led Zeppelin is one of the few hard rock bands that I really, really like. It's just an amazing lineup. You have Jimmy Page, one of the best rock guitarists of all time. John Bonham, one of the best rock drummers of all time. John Paul Jones, top 10 rock um, bass players. And Robert Plant just has amazing, amazing vocals. Great frontman. They conquered the world in the early 70s and they had a hell of a run. They have probably one of the best rock discographies when it comes to consistency. They just consistently just put out banger after banger with their albums. It, it was fantastic run that they had in the early 70s. And we're going to start off our Led Zeppelin ranked. Again, this is all just my opinion. This isn't like objective, you know, like objectively their best album is probably Led Zeppelin 4 just because influence and innovation and everything like that but this is just personal enjoyment so i'm not trying to say my number one pick here is the right answer or anything like that but yeah let's get into it so it's no surprise that in through the outdoor is led zeppelin's weakest album and really this placing and the next one is just no surprise you know no this isn't a hot take or anything it's still a great album though it has some good songs on it i like fool in the rain all my love i'm gonna crawl led zeppelin they're at the very end of their career and they're just starting to incorporate some more modern sounds you know with the synthesizers and all that still some good hard rock on here still great performances of course from everybody in the band but just the songwriting is not really there they're just kind of out of their element. They're tired. They've been doing this for 11 years now. So still still a solid project, but it's nothing mind-blowing or anything. Again, Presence is not a hot pick for this to be towards the bottom of the list. The performances on here, still great. Um, Robert Plant's vocals at some points aren't as good as they could be just because he got in a really bad car wreck and was in a wheelchair, but there's still some great stuff on here. I like the album art with the mysterious black thing that they got going on. I don't know what the symbol, I don't know, it's probably symbolism or something, I don't know. This is still a solid record even though it's in later in the career. Achilles Last Stand is probably the best song off here. It's just this really long song that just like has all these different parts and just keeps escalating. Royal Orleans, Hot Song for Nowhere, Nobody's Fault But Mine. Still has some great hard rock in here, just nothing as good as their earlier stuff. <laughs> All right, now we're on number six in the list. We're not even in the top five, and we're already at an album that's like at a nine out of 10 near perfect. That's how consistent and good Led Zeppelin's discography is. And it is Houses of the Holy, excellent album. A little controversial in the Led Zeppelin discourse, I suppose, just cause they do, they have like a, a reggae song, like reggae rock song, and some people like that, some people don't. Crunch and Dancing Days, little bit of a low point of the album. But everything on here is great. The Rain song, fantastic. I love the Rain song. It's just so, the soundscapes that they're able to make on that is so good. No Quarter is also really fantastic. The Ocean, Dire Maker, just banger after banger on here. This is just a fantastic album from them. The Rain song and No Quarter, just 
beautiful, beautiful songs. It still has some really good rockers, like Song Remains the Same in the Ocean. Just on is just Led Zeppelin doing what they do best, but it is this low because the crunch and dancing days are like, uh, you know, they're gimmicky, they're not as good as they could be. This album is Led Zeppelin's only double album. So it's got a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff on here. It's also, the vinyl is really cool because it has all the windows and stuff, which is nice. The reason I would have this over Houses of the Holy is because it's a double album, so it's just twice as much good stuff on there. However, it does suffer from the same things that Houses of the Holy do, where there's some songs that are just like, uh, you know, Bon E, Bon E, Or, Bron Y, Or, that one. Ten Years Gone and Sick Again, not a huge fan of. They're not bad by any means, but they're just, eh, whatever. The really highlight of this album is In My Time of Dying, which is my favorite Led Zeppelin song, period, point blank. It's super long, but it has just these great sections where Bonham, some of the best drums of his career, just some great solos and riffs from Jimmy, some great vocals, you know, just Led Zeppelin doing what they do best. In My Time of Dying is straight up my favorite Led Zeppelin song. Between that and it being a double album, that's why I have it above Houses of the Holy, but because, you know, there are some duds on here. It's not quite at the same level as their other stuff. You've also got Cashmere on here, which is great. That string section is just amazing. I also really like Black Country Woman. That's just kind of like a, a stomp, you know, fun song. The Wonton Song, Custard Pie, just, you know, Led Zeppelin do it, they do great. Led Zeppelin 3. Here's where we get to the, like, best, some of the best albums of all time. Led Zeppelin 3 is Led Zeppelin kind of moving away from pure hard rock that they had in their first two albums and incorporating more folk stuff, which I think really, really makes this album stand out. Braun E. or I still can't pronounce that. Braun E. or Stomp is this great folk rock song that I think is one of the best on the album. And another one of my favorites is Out on the Tiles, just because that guitar lick is just so perfect. It's just itches that thing in my brain. I love that guitar lick. That's one of my favorite Led Zeppelin songs is Out on the Tiles. But you've got Immigrant Song on here, classic. Celebration Day, classic. Tangerine is beautiful and mellow. You just see the band moving towards more folk stuff while still keeping that hard rock in. And it's that dichotomy that I really, really like about this record. The last song on the album, Hats Off to Roy Harper, isn't my favorite. It's kind of a dud. Still a fantastic, fantastic album. Paul McCartney may have invented hard rock in 1968 with Helter Skelter, but Led Zeppelin really took that one song and just made a whole new genre out of it with Led Zeppelin 1 in 1969. Such a great, 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 great album. I love the album art too. This, the Led Zeppelin falling and causing destruction and all that. Really, really cool. But this is their first album. This is what made them famous and everything. And it doesn't disappoint. My favorite song on here has to be Dazed and Confused. I think Dazed and Confused has my favorite guitar solo point blank. It's so f much fun to play. Not even like from a listening perspective. I guess Pink Floyd would be like, you know, immerse you with a guitar solo. But when it comes to just fun, energetic, awesome, you know, just, just gets you hype. Days and Confused solo after that super long opening section and then it just breaks into the insanity and fast paced drums and everything like that is just perfect. I love that song. Another highlight in here would be Babe, I'm Gonna Leave You. It starts off with that um, acoustic um, finger picking and then it again slowly 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 builds into this just bombastic climax and they're able to do that really well in here good times bad times classic communication breakdown that's a great one how many more times really shows off john paul jones bass work just a great 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 album to kick off led zeppelin's career
The one down point would be Black Mountain Side, which is just like a little folk uh, instrumental thing, which isn't bad, but they could have just left it off. Still a great album. <laughs> Like I said in the beginning, this is probably objectively the best Led Zeppelin album. Like, this is the most influential, this is the most, like, popular, the most innovative, everything like that. But, for me personally, I do like the number one pick more. However, this is still fantastic record. Led Zeppelin 4, there it is, with the little guy on there. I love, 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 love this album. They took the folk ideas from Led Zeppelin 3 and just kept improving on them for Led Zeppelin 4 and I think they shine really well here. My two favorite songs firstly is The Battle of Evermore which is just so beautiful, such good guitar work, Plant's vocals are heavenly. Uh, the Gollum stuff like the Lord of the Rings references and the lyrics, I am a huge Tolkien guy so that's just that just makes it even better but that's a great track. Going to California is also a beautiful ballad to Joni Mitchell and both of those are just folk rock, just perfect folk rock. Those are my two favorites on the album, but every single song on here goes hard. This is the first Led Zeppelin album, in my opinion, that doesn't have a low point. Every single song is crazy. Black Dog, classic. Rock and Roll, classic. Stairway to Heaven, we all know that song. <laughs> when the Levee Breaks is a great track. Just that super slow buildup and the drums on that song are just classic. There's not really a lot to say that hasn't already been said about this album. It's just perfect hard rock. It's perfect folk rock. You can't get better than this. This, this is the high point of classic rock, just in general. <laughs> compilation type album that was released after John Bottom's death in 1980, R.I.P. It's kind of a compilation album because it's got I Can't Quit You Baby, like a live version, but also has like some new songs. One song on here, Bonzo's Montreux, great song, which is just John Bonham drum stuff, which sounds great. And also has Ozone Baby, which is a great Zeppelin song. Not really a Led Zeppelin album, kind of more like a compilation, like demo type album, but still good to check out. So I wanted to shout that out here. Coda, it's a good one. And finally, my favorite Led Zeppelin album has to be Led Zeppelin 2. Not a big surprise, not super controversial. This is usually people's favorite, but I just have to have this at number one. I can't be contrarian and put like Houses of the Holy or something at number one. This has to be my favorite Led Zeppelin album. Best song on here has to be Living Loving Made. Apparently, that's my hot take, is that Living Loving Made is the best song on here. But I love that song. The guitar riff, uh, you should have heard it earlier, just gets into my brain, just scratches that itch. Almost at the same level as In My Time of Dying on Physical Graffiti. That song is just one of my favorite Led Zeppelin. Definitely my favorite off the album. Love that song. Another great one's Ramble On, which is one of the hits. That was their first really look into folk rock was with Ramble On, and it's just so good. Whole lot of love, the Lemon Song, Thank You is really beautiful, Heartbreaker, the bass on Heartbreaker is just insane. Moby Dick has Bonham, you know, doing what he does best, sounds great. Bring It On Home is a great closer. Just great album from front to back. And again, this is, has no low points. This and Led Zeppelin IV, just great rock all the way through. But yeah, that's the video. There's my ranking on all Led Zeppelin projects. There will be like a final list on the screen somewhere with the order and whatever in the ratings forum. But let me know if you agree in the comments. This was a fun video to make, so hopefully there will be more ranking videos in the future. Hopefully I get a gazillion subscribers from this one video and I become famous and I can do like Mr. Beast. So subscribe now so you can be in like the first 100. So when I become Mr. Beast, I can give you like a million dollars in an airplane or whatever. I can put you in Squid Game and if you win, you'll win a bunch of money. So subscribe now so you'll get in there.
Led Zeppelin forever. R.I.P. John Bonham.